Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Another video where I dig deep into my collection and show you guys all I have from one team. Today we talk about the Pittsburgh Penguins. I would have loved to include this jersey into the, count, into the collection. Unfortunately, this, what looks like a 2011 Winter Classic, is a fake. But, okay, I'll wear it. It's not part of the collection, but, yeah, why not throw it away? The sad part, uh, I also have a 2008 Penguins Winter Classic, which is also a fake. Since then, I really got out of buying Penguins jerseys via eBay. It's just... It sucks. Be happy, buy a jersey, and then it turns out to be a fake. This really... Ah! I hate it. Anyway, enough of the bashing of eBay. So, let's get on with my real jerseys. There are six of them, of the Pittsburgh Penguins. So, the Penguins came into the league in the first expansion in 1967. At this time, they were not allowed to use black and gold, which are the colors of Pittsburgh, because this color combination was blocked by the Boston Bruins. So the Penguins went on with light blue and white jerseys, which were quite nice. Used them until 1972. Then from 1972 until 1980, they had dark blue and white jerseys. But then in 1980, finally, they got along with Boston and got their black and gold as they wanted to. They had uh, then jerseys that are quite similar to the ones they have today. The logo was absolutely the same. But this changed then in 1992, when they introduced a new logo, the Robo Penguin. Yeah, this jersey is a starter, so it's not in the best condition. The logo is already a little bubbly, you can see that in here especially. But okay, it's a part of the collection because it's a real jersey. Black and gold striping here at the bottom, black and gold at the sleeves. You already see the C, so who can it be? Yeah, Mario. This is my Mario Lemieux jersey. It's not in the best condition, but anyway. Everybody must, every serious collector must have a Mario jersey, and I have this. I got it from a private seller on eBay before, uh, no, it wasn't eBay, it was another site. I was assured this is a real jersey and then I bought it. As mentioned, not in the best condition, but it's my Mario, the Robo Penguin. Along with the Robo Penguin, the Penguins introduced another jersey in the year 2000. It is a design they then kept until, oh, bum bum. 2016, basically, with some changes, of course, when Starter and CCM were kicked out and Reebok came in, it's this version. There's the Reebok version. This is, yeah, a little bit less, a little bit uh, poor on colors, just the black and the, the jersey, the, the penguin logo, the triangle in the background with this light yellow uh, light gold or light yellow how do you want to call it the same color turns up here again on the sleeves together with black and with white this yeah is not the best jersey the penguins ever had it's black on the back and this jersey was gifted to me by ben h sports thank you ben it's now part of my collection. Ben said, oh, I can't sell this anymore. And the logo is already coming loose. We fixed that. My girlfriend fixed that. She did a good job. And now this jersey can rest in peace in my collection. The 2000s and 2010s penguin of the penguins. And now we arrived at Adidas. The Penguins introduced a new alternate jersey in 2014, which then became their main home jersey in 2016. And when Adidas took over in 2017, they left this jersey almost unchanged. It's this one. The actual Penguins home jersey, as we all know it. The, pe uh, the Penguin remained the same. The triangle is not this off gold, off yellow color anymore. Now it's, it's real gold. 
which looks a lot better. The color here, yeah, a little contrast could be here, like going with the yellow all the way to the front, but okay, that's my opinion. The sleeves in gold, black and white, black, uh, white and yellow, stri yellow, gold striping here at the bottom. And this, of course, is my Sydney Crosby. I'm not a fan of the penguins, I'm not a fan of Sid the Kid, but as a serious collector, I have to have a Crosby jersey. No way around this. And it's the home jersey, the actual one, of the Pittsburgh Penguins. The home jersey, the Crosby jersey, I got from a shop here in Germany called the All-American Sports Store. The road version comes from Ben H. Sports. It's this one. Again, with gold and black striping here at the bottom. The sleeves with the same striping, but with a little more gold. Doesn't look that bad. But I think especially here, top part, no contrast. This is not the best Penguins jersey. It's blank on the back, as mentioned. It comes from Ben H. Sports up in Brampton, Ontario. It's still in use. This is the war version with the buttons. So, of the first year of production. But it's still in use and still the same. The home, sorry, the road jersey of the Pittsburgh Penguins. In 2018, the Penguins introduced a new alternate jersey. This did not take over as their home two years later as the last one did, but this version is running out. The Penguins are expected to have a new alternate jersey for the 2021-2022 season, so this one will be retired. I have no problem with this jersey. The color, the black going all the way around, I like that positive point. The color is d clearly different to the home jersey. It's all yellow or gold as you want to call it. The triangle behind the penguin is missing and I do not miss it. This I think looks better. The striping here at the sleeves, a lot of black going back to gold, a little white in between. What's missing at this jersey is something at the bottom. Maybe do a white or another black stripe here at the bottom would look better but the discussion about this is oblique anyway, as this jersey is retired. It's blank on the back. I got it, I think, from Ben H. Sports, but I'm not sure about that. Anyway, the re now retired alternate jersey of the Pittsburgh Penguins. And finally, as always in this series, I end with a reverse retro. Yeah, I have the reverse retro. I got it from Penn's Gear from the team store for $60. 60 dollars 60 yeah, 60. I wouldn't have paid any more for this. This version, which is going back to the 90s when they had the Wordmark jersey in black, which went together with the Robo Penguin, now they have this version in white. Just the Wordmark, a little bit of gold and black striping here at the bottom, a little bit of gold and black striping here on the sleeves. The color going all the way around in black, that's quite okay. But this is a pretty boring jersey. And in regard to the reverse retro, yeah, it's reversed and it's a retro version. But altogether, I don't like this jersey. It's an F. That's what it is. I got it from Pants Gear from the team store. It's blank on the back. What's quite nice about this jersey, some elements are good. This is the regular logo here on the shoulders, which looks very, very nice. And as mentioned, the second good I think about this jersey is the color going all the way around in black, but the rest, the reverse retro of the Pittsburgh Penguins. Okay, that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And see you next time around when I dig deep into my jersey collection and show you all the jerseys I have from the Columbus Blue Jackets. Yeah, there are some. I like them more than the Penguins jerseys we just talked about but it's part of the collection, so I do it. Thanks again for watching. See you soon.